We are out here in Orlando for the annual NFL owners meetings and I'm joined by Vikings owner Mark Wolf. Mark, it is lovely to be here with you at these events. I know it's something that you've been doing now for 20 years. Yes. Is it crazy to believe that you've been a part of this ownership and, and with the Vikings organization for 20 years now? It's crazy. It's <laughs> the 20th season coming up here and uh, every minute's been a blast. A lot of great memories and we still have one thing left on the checklist. That's right. What is your favorite memory if you can recall? Well, there's so many and so many great people we've met over the years. Of course, uh, the Minneapolis Miracle, we yeah. can't forget that. Uh, the championship games that we, uh, the runs to get to those. Mm -hmm. And uh, just the stadium opening, the facility opening, and training camp, all the great memories all, all blend together. A lot of great moments. Anything in particular that you're most proud of as the Vikings owner? Well, I, I, I feel we've really built a first-class, world-class organization in a lot of ways. Our facilities, of course, are fantastic. Our stadium, uh, our headquarters mm -hmm. in Egan, all fantastic. But we're really super proud of is the way we've really grown the fan experience, connected to the community, and uh, getting the football where we need to be, and that's to win Super Bowl. So very proud of where we've come mm -hmm. and a long way to go, too. One way to recognize that is the NFL PA Players Association survey where the Vikings in the first two years have been in the top two both times. What about that makes you the most proud? Well, again, our facilities are second mm -hmm. to none, but most importantly, I'm really proud of the people we have in our organization. Mm -hmm. Our executive team, our head coach, our GM, all the staff, all the people that people see on game day and in training camp, they all have that attitude of, we're really stewards of a great franchise, a community asset in so many ways, and I'm just so proud of the way people carry themselves in a world-class, professional way, and I think that's something we're proud to be part of. Definitely, I, I have to agree with you. It's been a world-class time here for me, personally, but but let's talk a little bit about the, the, the front office that you hired most recently. What have you learned about them? Well, I, I've learned they work really well together. Uh, they're incredible people, uh, great family people, but more importantly, for our football fans, uh, they are great football people. Um, we're building the right way. It's their third season out together, and I'm confident we're going to be building a sustained, successful model here. And I think we've started to see the signs of that here in early free agency and heading into the draft. I, I like that you mentioned free agency, though. It felt like there were, it was a very active free agency. There were a lot of new names. There are some names that have left. What really struck you the most about the moves that this front office well, made? Well, I know there's been a lot of talk about quarterback, and that's, that's to be expected. <laughs> what? Don't say. <laughs> that's to be expected. But I'm really excited, really excited about what we've done on the defensive side of the ball. Some great additions, of course, some departures of incredible people that have been part of our Vikings organization sure. a long time. But what we've, what we've got going on defense with Coach Flores mm -hmm. and the rest, I think uh, fans are going to really be excited this coming season. And that team will be heading to London this year. How important is it for you to make that trek out there? And what are you most excited about? We're super supportive of the international mm -hmm. growth of the game. Uh, we spent some time at the meetings talking about it. It's going to expand dramatically, moving up to eight games uh, okay. overseas in the coming years. And uh, we're excited that we've had not just good success over there, but we're very proud of growing the market. Mm -hmm. uh, we have great fandom there. The UK, 14 million NFL fans now in the UK. So we're excited to be part of it. We can't wait for uh, that game and uh, growing the game internationally and getting our Viking fans in, in Europe to come out. Yes. Well, you mentioned that you've talked about them a little bit here at the owners' meetings. What is something that you've enjoyed talking to the other owners about at this meeting in particular? Well, I think it's always, it's first, getting to know them outside yeah. the football environment is, is always special, but talking about the different rules and maybe talking about things like uh, kickoffs mm -hmm. and uh, things that we're trying to improve the game. And that's very important. The, uh, we're stewards of a great game. And also the business side, we learn a lot of best practices. We learn about uh, ticketing, uh, marketing, hmm. all the kind of things that uh, grows the business as well. So, and fan experience, that's always very important. And we know in Minnesota, we have the best fans <laughs> in the NFL. So we're excited to get them uh, even more connected to our team. I love that. Thank you so much for your time, Mark. We'll let you get back to the meetings and, and the me many media appearances. We appreciate your time and congratulations on season number 20. Thank you, Skull.